Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed viewers. Otumbadile on your TV station again. This is Poverty Fighters TV. And this is Otumbadile Reflections with Otumbadile um, Poverty Fighters TV. What is poverty? Poverty is the level of anybody who could not feed on his own, a man who could not feed his family, or a country that whose citizens just wall up in abject poverty. We don't need much elaboration on what poverty is. We all know it. It's lack of everything, lack of special needs, lack of needs for human consumption, lack of needs when you are not able to cater for your immediate needs. That is what is called poverty. I want to welcome you to today's program on behalf of Ikeja Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. We are poverty fighters. This chamber essentially is out there to relieve people from their suffering, to lift people from the level at which they are to the next, to make life much comfortable and much bearable for people to exist. This is a chamber that brings smiles to faces, brings succor to those who need it. Use voice, use their voice for the voiceless. Build homes for the homeless. Give succor to those who are in pain. And this organization that is the Kedja Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture He's been pioneered and championed by none the less than indefatigable Dr. Ambassador Edward Yitayo Olutoke, a Nigerian born, a very prominent Nigerian whose heart goes for the rest of us. If you see a man who is referred to as a giver, this gentleman. The director is, a, is the director of international human rights housing in the whole of Africa. This is a recognition and a, an appointment given to him by the African Union. Those of us who are older know OAU. OAU is now. We are responsible for good living, uh, ensuring that we observe all uh, COVID protocols. That's part of responsibility. Yes. Uh, ensure that we have beautiful and uh, civic uh, in engagement. That's responsible. Uh, treat other human beings right. That's being responsible. Okay. Uh, benevolence is being responsible. Good. Obeying your laws, the laws of the land or where you live, is being responsible. Taking care of your family and providing as much as you can is being responsible. If you are a son, being do the right thing, your normal shows, is also being responsible. Uh, being serious with academics, I ensure that your parents don't spend all the money for nothing, is being responsible. Sure. So there's a campaign we're doing on the side uh, from the chamber to try to inculcate that culture of being responsible and being responsive to national duties. Uh, it's part of what we're going to be introducing to you much later. Uh, first of all, let me introduce uh, myself and my team. Um, Prince Kevin Fife is Director of Business Advisory, the Kenya Chamber of Commerce. Uh, like you have seen on the card, and I have on my right a very beautiful Chief Juliet of uh, member of the Chamber, and also the head of uh, entertainment. I have uh, Otumba Adedeji, uh, who is our Abuja head, uh, because I have an office in Abuja, uh, so he's you are very good at the yes, and, uh, and I have uh, Geshem, uh, who is the media head uh, in the chamber. The, the man with the camera is, uh, you know, mm -hmm. DJ, so it's also under the lens. I can also ensure that we have at least content with which we can be quick to the next generation that comes after us. So, uh, you agree with me that uh, with the introduction of this technology, a lot of us are today happy to see things that happened in the past and learn from it. And adjust. Um, so that's who we are. 
Uh, the International of Commerce, as you are aware, is also one of the chambers of commerce that they have across the world. Uh, basically designed to create opportunity platforms for members who are desirous of different fields in terms of agriculture, in terms of uh, uh, business, uh, academics, uh, tourism. You know, in tourism we have different centers of tourism. Uh, uh, you have the health tourism, you have the uh, academic tourism, you have you know, the business tourism. I would believe that uh, Mexico is one of the countries with you know, numerous potentials that we can interchange with. Nigeria is, is more than 200 million people. The market is here, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But the sky is open for all of us to find. And so we're looking out for opportunities with which we can explore to give our TV members the platform with which they can have interchanges with other you know, uh, business. How many members do you have? Our current membership is more than 3,000, which is still growing. Uh, and our membership cut across the nation and the world. Because we have members from America, from uh, uh, London, uh, which is a Britain. We have membership in the Middle East, we have in you know, African countries. So membership is not limited to just Nigeria or to Kenya. Uh, for the world of information, we have membership. And it's still growing. We're not stopping to expand the scope. Uh, because opportunities always abound, and so people tend to want to look for ways to interchange. Uh, sometimes some person comes to Nigeria and do so well, other than they can do better in their own country. And some person leave Nigeria and do so well in their host countries. It's opportunities as no geographical location. Mm -hmm. It's how much you can explore within the confines of the law, laws of the land that makes a difference. I would believe that uh, Mexico is one of our destinations we're looking at. Now, Mexico is one country that is really, really under advertised as much as we get to know video from the books, you know, story. How about the people who travel to Cuba before? Uh, and there's, there's, there's similarities of lifestyle with the Cubans when it comes to the salsa dance and. No, uh, you're bigger than us. But to the same. To the same, you know. And, you know, you have the other, you know, uh, street foods that is very common. You know, and the poor and all of those things. So, we believe that giving us that opportunity will allow our members to have a vegetable platform. And here's the reason, one of the reasons why we tend, we decided to come up with this conservation. You know, it's always very easy, in quote, to have people who claim to have access to opportunities in other places. But in most cases, uh, people are also coming to the hands of fraudulent people, where you don't go to the right formal channels. Why do we have to continually open up opportunities for our members when we're not going through the formal channel? So we believe going through the formal channel makes will make it easier, streamline the processes, help members not to fall into the wrong hands or ourselves into the wrong hands. Having the right process in terms of business processing, we know we have the right process. We will be able to do due diligence, you know, uh, in ensuring that we only have people who are credible, that are capable, that can you know go for these exchanges. Not necessarily open for a big term ticket hire, but people who are credible, who have competence, who have the capacity to be able to yes bring about a change. Why? Because we want to fight poverty. Poverty is the biggest problem across the globe. It's the only one religion that affects everybody: the rich, the poor, and any faith you practice. And so, if we be able to fight poverty, we we'll reduce crime, we we'll reduce diseases also, because when the people are gainful and empowered, and power, it helps them to be more productive in the, in the society. And that's what the Kija Chamber of Commerce is basically designed. So if you look at the back of the card, you will see that we have three websites. Uh, we have the Kija Chamber of Commerce, we have the Poverty Fighter Squad. I will also have you know, the Chamber and Get Paid. Uh, we're looking at uh, empowering people, creating different opportunities, depending on your strata in the society. It means nobody is left out. You're, you're rich, you're poor, there's a platform. If you don't have anything at all, there's a platform. The whole idea is to be able to take people from nothing to something so that everybody can be more meaningful and then we're all going to live together. And that's why we're here. And to see what opportunities we can explore for mutual benefit. Okay. Uh, there's no denying the fact that, uh, not as much as the media, the Western media will often tell us about 
Mexico with the drug and all of the other things. Those are secondary issues. There are lots of opportunities that are not uh, advertised by these Western media. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, the influx of people from America and Europe to Mexico is alarming. Is on tourism alone. A lot of the last year, they don't but they don't report these things. And so we cannot, because of the negatives, not look for the opportunities that arise in those areas. That's why we came to meet you and your SLC. Well, thank you, Oko, for your visit. This is, I am really glad to meet you here at the Mexican Embassy. As uh, you may know, I just arrived in, to, in this beautiful country uh, almost two months ago. Yeah. Yeah. May, May 27th. Yeah, so I am just a newcomer learning yeah. from, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the, this uh, good and nice environment. A little bit humid, not sunny yeah. as I was expecting, but yeah. this is very nice. It's yeah. really, very sunny. Very it's sunny. really green. The sun will come later on, yeah. I'm sure. Always, okay. always this happens. This is, this is yeah. normal. And you know, uh, for me, this is a uh, in the process in the moment that we are uh, from all different sides of this uh, society because Mexico is uh, very well located uh, geographically speaking. This is very important for us in order to construct good relationship. Unfortunately, Africa has uh, some miles in between us and it requires a lot of a double effort in order to really strain our bilateral capacities. Yeah. Because the economic possibility that Mexico has to uh, link the economy to the north, the south, the east, and the west is huge. It's amazing. We have received uh, plenty of investment in Mexico. Last year, we were more than 35 billion US dollars. Uh, in tourism, we are receiving more than 50 million US dollars. Uh, remittances, we are receiving 50, 50 million US dollars. So this is the, the way that Mexico is uh, has a GDP a national a gross product of about 1.03 trillion US dollars. So it's double size of the US economy. Also, it's double size of the, the, the territory. But we are on the half of population because yeah, I, we, are, we are only 125 million and you have 250, yeah, 20, right. the, the, the statistics that you see. So that means that we are two potential countries who have capabilities in order to increase our levels uh, of development to the end of the degree. Even though, the economically speaking, Mexico is very well. Uh, uh, Granted, of course, this is important to say, okay, and we have one project in which we are going to be to do this in agriculture or because if we start just talking about in this kind of issues, I can provide you a lot of information on different sectors and also how we are dealing with the, 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 the product. So, appreciate this, that. Just, 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 just to continue to, and, and share it with you. Since uh, the establishment of the Nigerian Mexican Chambers of Commerce and Industry has been uh, gone five different trade missions. And we are normally uh, used to, to receive them and to prepare and tailor specific programs for uh, organize the trade. But if you see in, in careful you think the, the trade between Mexico and, and Nigeria is not reflected this effort that we have done sending people to Mexico because our trade uh, uh, relationship is uh, has a deficit of something like 80, 90 million US dollars. We are buying more to Nigeria than Nigeria is to is, 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 uh, also very close. So this is a challenge because for us, for us it's important that Nigeria be in Mexico and things having this economic platform to say, okay, why don't we start importing, for instance, uh, pharmaceuticals? Why don't we start just bringing uh, um, people to, to do partnership in order to produce here our products, for instance. So 
hibiscus is hibiscus flower that is produced here in Nigeria. It's a market of about 600 million US dollars. If Nigeria is selling the, to Mexico less than a third part of this uh, market. Why? Because there has been some uh, phytosanitary problems that we are in the process to resolve. So this is on the, also uh, uh, the way that we need to really understand the problem and how we are going to do. If we want to do business, we don't need to send people to do business. So we need to have a specific projects because the Mexicans are coming here next week. That way we have this set up on the table because they are going to have meetings here. So what is most important is to talk with them, to talk with the people, but talking about the specific the specific because they are going to come to see what, what is the problem in the production that Nigeria has in not only in this case, let's say agroproducts. What is the production of uh, such uh, grains? The, the, the maize, for the maize, for instance. How we can enhance this product, the wheat, for instance. I have a, mean, a Mexican working in the uh, Central Bank, and he is helping the Nigerians to develop the uh, techniques in order to increase wheat production, the wheat production. From one million uh, tons that uh, has been produced, he's just around to five million tons. The huge capacity of this country is, is so important that we require to work together in order to enhance these capacities. So, but this capacity is here. See, this is the, this is the point. This is it's not it's not going as it because you are going to be to visit Mexico, but you are more than more than welcome to go, of course. But what is the what's behind? What kind? What what, what value? Have, yes. What value? What is the, the purpose to that I can say? Let's organize a, a visit. Let's go. Let's do this. this uh, make through through the Chamber of uh, Commerce. Well, let's let's organize this kind of visit. At the end. Our, hist our history that we have seen is that this kind of visit has not been enough, enough, not in order, order, not order, 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 order to restrain the development relation. Thank you so much, John. That's a truly appreciate this time and the insights you are giving. Uh, obviously, we'll go back and uh, get back to the, to the embassy as much as expected uh, because it's important we are trying to find areas of interest that can bring tangible results. The, world, the chief goal is basically to fight poverty. And whichever way we can help to reduce the number of poor in our different countries, uh, we know what to put that together. Uh, to, to when you have 100 million and we have 60 million of poor, uh, poor people, poor people, you know? So that's a huge number. <laughs> that, that's a huge number that can take down any community. So what we do, uh, go back to, to the drive back and get back to you on one of those things. We, we, we had a silent talk in terms of the transmissions. We're going to also work on that. I, I think um, everyone is something about yes, this. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Did you just say we have 100 million poor and 60 million yes. in Mexico? Yes, you, you lost my introduction, so, yes. but this is it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what I'd like to, yes, what I'd like to uh, contribute here in, in the inquiry, still in the inquiry, is we have a present problem of housing deficits in Nigeria. Then, I studied in Israel. I came back. Here we are. I want to contribute what I learned in Israel to this place. But there are other factors that we must also look at. We are building components that would safely make us deliver cheap houses, still beautiful houses for the Nigerian people. Now, I've studied Mexico. I've studied the adobe building technique of Mexico. I admire it. It's fantastic, sir. You're using latrites. We have latrite here. Japan doesn't have latrites. Japan takes latrite from Africa. They export it. That's the thing we have in abundance. So much materials. But we do not have the know-how as others have accomplished. In Mexico, you have accomplished everything to do with Adobe. Mm -hmm. We love your houses. 
Even you make paints with laterites. But the uh, that, that, uh, yes. human sorry for yes. this question. Yes. 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 This is this is very interesting to see. Yes. Adobe is one of the traditional materials in construction in rural areas. Mm -hmm. After the earthquake that we had in 1985, yes. all the regulation was changed and is not allowed anymore the construction of Adobe due to the to the to the risk. Yes. Because even, even uh, we have faced problems of uh, And God, you said earthquake. It doesn't occur in Africa. We don't have such a problem. Exactly. So why don't we borrow that experience of the Adobe into our own culture? That's what I'm looking at. Yes. I know very well there was, an ex, there was a seismic movement of the earth in Mexico. But it, has happened, it hasn't happened in Africa. Because we are stable there. God has blessed us with so much stability. So we need the Adobe technology. What you guys know and you have discarded, some other people need it. <laughs> what is useless to you is useful to another person. That's the hard habit. And because we are represented, we also represent, we cut across, agriculture and habitat are two most important factors of human existence. If we do not have this human need met, we have not, we have failed. So our passion is to give everybody their self-esteem without making them feel poor. We must give the poor man a need so that he can. So we are looking at trading, technology, intellectual properties, and techniques on how to do this. Total agree. Yes. Total agree. We need it from you. This is, the, this is the way that we are really transforming our world. Sharing knowledge. Yes, yes. Sharing knowledge and innovation are two components that we require to inject to the, our uh, the mindset that the mentality of our people. Sure. This, is the, this is the most important because sure. this is the only way that they are going to aspire to develop their own tools through the through the cooperation, through the transfer of technology, through the education, through basically to have this kind of, this is the, the most important uh, issue that we need to, to really pursue on, on the on the uh, to overcome the this this these differences of, because what has happened with the international property? So some of some people believe that they belong to only to, to the creators. And the rest what happened that they didn't pay for that. And if there is no money, how they are going to pay for the for, for the technology. So that's why the Chinese have been succeeded, really. Because they they stole secrets. Yes. So they, they even they, they bought the uh, international property, but they, spoke, they, they are not paying uh, on this because they don't believe that this is something that could be uh, 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 could own some to, uh, to a certain yes. set of so people. Yes. So, certain people. So, I am totally agree. And yes. that's why I am eager in, in working with a specific project. Yes. I am eager to know the I am quite uh, focused on the ground, so believe me, I, 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 I don't want to... to yes, I even, 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 even if I am a, a, a diplomat, I never spend my time just with great speeches and all. I try to go to the, <laughs> to the facts, <laughs> the straight, and to, to, to really see what are the actions that we can uh, really do. Because, you know, uh, I have been I have been working as ambassador since 2012. I started in Ethiopia, from Ethiopia four years and a half, and I was posted in uh, Saudi Arabia, and two years and a half. You can imagine the contrasts, hmm. the differences, cultures, the cultures, the, the, the economic power. All these things are completely different, no? And then I was uh, acting as a as a DCM of the Mexican Embassy in US just uh, before coming here. So, and I started in 1990 working in international cooperation in Costa Rica. So, my goal is your goal, is to really put a, a grain of my effort mm -hmm. yes, sir. In, in order to, to affect lives, in order to reduce, mm -hmm. in order to deal with the issues of poverty. Absolutely. This is, we are not going to overcome, this is a dream, there will be forever. But the most important is to use our capacities in order to 
uh, create conditions, conditions, opportunities to create. This is the most, this is the most important. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Um, I think we don't want to take so much of your time, but I think I have a uh, question to want to ask a question uh, concerning the delegation. So. Okay. Yes, sir. You mentioned that a delegation is coming mm -hmm. next week. So, is there a specific area they are coming to probably do a business relationship with, so that some members of our chamber could also come to like pitch their they ideas? Love, they will love this mission. Uh, who are coming to do a, a prospective visit. Okay. So they belong to a chamber, you know, a big chamber in Mexico. Okay. The name is Conce. It's a chamber in charge of trade and investment. Mm -hmm. So they are going to come to see how feasible it is to start organizing different fields, different uh, business in agriculture, okay. in energy, okay. in health, and, and uh, they want to learn, to learn about the, the economy and the conditions, uh, the political situation. Mm -hmm. So this is they are coming here for us. So do they have the specific people they are meeting already, or members of our chambers could also meet with them to maybe for that? Yeah. That's that's why I, I, I share this with you oh, because okay. it, uh, I I want to do this in an orderly process. Uh, for me, it's very important, and if I may suggest to you, to establish contact with the Nigerian Mexico chamber. This is this is the way. This is this is the way in order to to present a a, a very very well harmonized uh, presence of yeah. Nigeria. So this is a, uh, my, my my goal. But of course, we can we can organize a meeting with them oh. in order. If you have something, that's why I was asking, I, I was yes, asking yes, about exactly. the specific. Yes. If there is something concrete, because they are coming to see what they, for instance, to say, I have we have uh, this uh, uh, in uh, in on this production of this. But we have seen that Mexico is producing, uh, this is receiving, for instance, for the production. Uh, and they establish uh, fabrics. How they have you done? How to learn? To learn from the outside is easy to do it. We can organize uh, a meeting, of course. Okay. Thank, so thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, on the issue of um, the delegation, you didn't mention those who are coming in the area of entertainment and uh, cultural institutions. No, no, no. Okay. This is something that is. So yeah, we have one hundred million hungry people. We don't even need the entertainment now. We need the house. <laughs> I The most important is health, house, health, yes, health, yes. You, I agree with you. Yes. Health, yes. food, yes. and education, and house. Very This is this is this is the where the museums, where the theaters, where. Because I, I am living. I like the culture. culture. I like the culture. I like. But yeah. let's 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 be let's be frank and say that people who spend a whole week working in order to get something to to eat and they are gaining little little money. They are not thinking to go to the museum to spend some money. <laughs> They are not thinking to go to France to, to visit the museum. They are not going. This is something that for us is important in, in our level. It's very important because I, I, I need to go to a museum. I need to learn from the history. I need to see the, the I want oh, yes. to see handcrafts, uh, African Nigerians. This is important for me because I start developing the idea how a thing is made, by whom, how much cost. How much they are using a stand? Mexico is also a federal, a federal country. That is our system is a federal uh, system in like, like Nigeria. You have here 36, 36 states. We have 32 with the same problems. With the same problems. The same problems. The problems. The problems. You have 40, 135 uh, different. Uh, Languages and also uh, indigenous, indigenous or, 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 or local people, no? We have 68 
we have 11 million of indigenous population that they speak in their own language, even if they don't speak fluent uh, Spanish. So I understand pretty well the the, 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 the realities that we have to be honest. The patterns that we have are similar, and that's why I understand that we have to work with real things. I agree with you, Thank you so much, Your Excellency. It's been a wonderful time with you. Um, as part of our plan for the exposure, but and that, that, and now this is the three, four, three, four different photos. I'm using the book. You see the